Success! We've brought back the cabinet. <laughs> yep. Yeah, as I said uh, to SKS, uh, what happened is that uh, he exclaimed, Free IJAS! How does that fix poverty? And my computer just crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Socialist just scum computer <laughs> said, No! <laughs> oh. What is this equality yeah. bullshit? There's no equality. <laughs> That's why we have gated communities. <laughs> You can you can take steps to fixing that, SKS. Why would I want to fix that? It's fixed. It's blue. Look, there is nothing wrong with it. <laughs> like oh. I said, free school meals and free eye tests will help you uh, work towards solving the poverty problem, which will help you solve the contagious disease problem without spending millions and millions and millions of dollars on state health services. This is why I get paid the big bucks and provide you no political capital. I know. Look at this bullshit. We need to get rid of this. This internet tax bullshit. Well, think of the fact that your money is, uh... All of your excess money is coming from somewhere. <laughs> Still. Although, although things that harm your GDP, uh... It could be detrimental, as well as things that increase your GDP could be... And that lowers religious membership, and no one cares about that, and it makes the capitalist happy, and increases productivity, hmm. and increases the GDP. You're trying to talk me into this, but... And decreases unemployment, and decreases the technology backward. Yeah, well, there might be something else. Hold on. <laughs> and it takes six months to implement. That, that's a very quick turnaround. But I'm still worried. Why are you worried, SKS? Should we give grants to college before we do that, though? You certainly could. You just have to think about, uh... What are the issues you need to fix in order to get reelected in a few years? Basically, like, four and a half years. Well, the biggest one, you know, is the teacher strike and this epidemic. No, the, the biggest thing that everyone cares about is the disease. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. This. No, you said the teacher strike and the teacher strike. The teacher strike is part of the disease. Without teachers, we cannot properly teach kids how to scrub their hands when they go to the bathroom. So you need to find a, a cheap way to solve the medical problems without dipping into the, the state health services bullshit. That's just going to train billions of dollars. I mean, the only thing that... A great way to do that is by lowering poverty. And there are ways for you to lower poverty without upsetting the capitalists. Because poverty ties into so many issues. Good God, look at the bump it gets here. 53% to homelessness and 29 to contagious disease. Yeah, so you solve the... You, you, you know, you take steps to reducing poverty, you take steps to reducing those issues. Fuck the old people. <laughs> no. I was waiting for it when I clicked on it. Oh my, look at the homelessness. It is up here at the very top. Yeah. Well, what are we going to do here? This is Umbrella. I mean, like, the technology stuff, those grants, those aren't, that, that's not going to solve the poverty problem. Tax shelters, oh man, that really cuts the equality. Not that you care about that. No, who cares about that? Let's see. How has the sales tax? It's reasonable. So what do you think we should push for here, Viceroy, or get fucked? Well, as I told you, my ideas haven't changed. Free school meals, free eye tests, basically public services that'll help you reduce poverty while still keeping the capitalists pleased with you. Uh, but still, I don't know. We could do this face school subsidies, you know, wait for that. You don't have enough political capital. For we that. will in a few turns, though. Yeah, you'd have so to So you're talking about something like this child benefit. No, I'm talking about what I said. You want welfare is what you want. No, that's in the public services. Free school meals? <laughs> it's not welfare. 
<laughs> you know that in free school meals that teachers still have to pay for their kids' meals because it counts as a raise on their salary and that's illegal? Yep. It's bullshit. How about well, if the kids donate their organs? you have children, you can complain about that, okay? I have hundreds of children every day. <laughs> hundreds of children every day? <laughs> yes. School prayer would take care of poverty, I believe. <laughs> are, you, are you sure? <laughs> okay, I'm okay with the school meals. We'll do that. It's only in the millions. Yep, and that makes everyone happy. Okay, we'll crank that up then. And then with my new right mouse button that I've discovered. My god, it's a shortcut. You could also use one of the function keys. Though. No, don't confuse me. Yep. Free eye test. That, 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 Universal, I when I see that word, it makes me shudder. <laughs> <laughs> Getting your eyes tested privately can be expensive. It is not. It most certainly can be. Whatever. I pay like ten bucks. Oh, wait, I have insurance. <laughs> Frank, you have insurance. Not everyone's insurance covers that. Oh, uh, oh, oh. See, the eye test. It will upset them a little bit, sure. But it has a uh, much bigger impact long term. The wealthy is like 78% of your population. That's not a big deal. You can make the capitalist happy in other ways. My personal opinion. Besides, well, it cuts down five percent on poverty. If you press the button, you already enacted the policy. I know. I think you should be able to come in. That's why you should be able to come in here and look at it. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. It would be a nice function, and there might be something you'd be able to do with five points, no plastic bag tax. <laughs> Good God! You don't want to enact a plastic bag tax. You never know. Well, it would not. It would not earn you favors with. Uh, the capitalists, but there are a lot of environmentalists here in this country, too. At least half the population, I think. Micro-generation grants only cost one. Yeah, no, I was looking at how cheap it is. Who wants to fuck with that, though? All that shit in Law & Order, I think, is too much. Foreign policy, I think, is gonna be too much for you as well. Import tariffs wouldn't wouldn't be so bad, I don't think, but you'd have to wait until next turn at least to uh, enable those. We don't really have a problem with those, though. Just because something's not a problem doesn't mean you don't need to do something. <laughs> There's no maternity leave in this country, I believe it. Oh, you know what you need? You need a space program. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did it in my other country. All right, I think we're done with this turn. Let's see what disastrous effects that we have. Fuck this shit. I'm going. I'm going to go in outer space. I love this quote. Good news. Toxic waste dump. Oh dear. The budget is in good shape. We currently have a surplus. The government is not popular. Twenty-four percent. The election is not for a long time. Conservatives. Yeah. This. This is just. You don't even pay attention to this. Intelligence Toxic services have nothing. A proposal has been put forward to construct a major toxic waste dump in our country. Yeah, we can't do that because we have 50% environmentalists. Well, nobody exactly wants, but you would be fool a foolish to turn your back on the economic gain. 50% of your population might be environmentalists, but half of your population is also capitalist. But where this would directly keep the stupid health going from going up. Would it? <laughs> Don't play devil's advocate with me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Maybe it'll just upset or make the environment happy, and that's it. But it's got such a high NIMBY effect. I can't see the parents being happy with that. The drinkers would piss off about off about that. They can get drunk and forget about it. <laughs> the smokers, they'll light a cigarette and go into flames. All right, then prevent its construction. Do that NIMBY bullshit, you socialist and bastard. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I'm pushing your button. Think about the legacy you want to leave for your hundreds of children. <laughs> the hundreds of my children? Oh. They're already getting free eye care because of some fool in my cabinet. 
I don't know. This is so much easier when I was on my own, and now I have somebody talking in my ear. I mean, it does make a good point. We could place the dump in the countryside where the jobs are needed. That's right. No one really wants to be a farmer. Have them work in a toxic waste dump. The toxic waste has to go somewhere. If not in your country, it might go in an ocean or a river somewhere. Then the but we're already making be... fantastic amounts of money. Yeah, because the global economy is doing fantastic. What yeah. about when it goes into a recession? Well, they're, they're not going to be able to afford to give us their dump. And uh, we still haven't gone through the 36 months required for the changes you made to the, the, the school budget for that to fully take effect. So it's not costing you as much as it would. I just don't think it's a good idea, no matter what. Okay, then don't lie. To the president. I made a decision, and I'm going to stick with it. So long as you stop leaving an open chest by the boss. <laughs> <sighs> ah, the teacher strike is going down. Of course, because you spent more money. Uh, the asthma epidemic is going up. Yeah... Because the air quality still sucks. Yeah, mister, let's put a toxic dump here. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to throw you out under the bus at my next speech. <laughs> this fucker right here, <laughs> he wanted to bring a toxic dump. <laughs> all right, so teacher he shortage. Would, he would deprive you all with free eye tests. <laughs> so, yeah, our pollution is still going up, and the asthma is still going up. All right, so improve air quality. Yeah, but that's going to piss off a lot of people. So, take the steps that will hopefully reduce the impact you make on those people. Besides, it's going to make the environmentalists happy, and they are not happy with you right now because of the bad pollution. It's a, it's a hard thing between them and the capitalists. It's finding a happy medium. Well, you can certainly take steps that, you know, like clean energy subsidies and that type of thing. So change road construction if you wanted to. Air travel's going up. Yeah, but I don't think that's really... I mean, we're only doing basic maintenance right now. I'm sure you're only doing basic maintenance the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, clean energy subsidies, you can always do bus lanes, clean fuel, free bus passes, stuff like that, telecommunications. What the hell is that? Satellite road pricing? Oh shit. That's a lot of political capital. Mm. Oh shit, I've never even thought about that before. There we go, a subsidy that allows you to, to cut down on the environmental impact of motoring. Estimated implementation time, one turn. See, and I found that by just clicking buses, buses, buttons. <laughs> you found it by clicking on buses, genius. And it doesn't cost that much. It doesn't affect the uh, other people either. That's right, uh, it doesn't have that great of an impact on the air quality, but it does make the environmentalist happier with you. And that means we can do something else to make them unhappy. Oh. What was that other one I was looking at there? The bus lanes, do we think we want to go with that? That would uh, make uh, commuters happy with you, although they're not a big portion, but drivers aren't a big portion of your population either. And, and that will uh, help your impact with uh, you know traffic flowing faster, avoiding congestion, so less time spent on the road. There could definitely be superior options, though. Monorails are expensive as fuck. But I watched a great episode of The Simpsons where they made it work. <laughs> well, clearly, if it was on The Simpsons. What's the next thing we should hit, though? I don't really want to hit any taxes right now, because that yeah, really I, pisses I don't everybody think, off. I, don't think you should I think I want to pump it from the bottom up. Recycling, that would definitely do a great thing for uh, the air quality. From what I remember on my last playthrough, it doesn't really make anybody mad. It doesn't. And it was... Yeah. I mean, 
doesn't cost a whole lot, and the environment... See, here, here's what confuses me about this game. If it's fairly cheap in this game, is it fairly cheap in real life, too? I don't think uh, Democracy 2, this indie game by Positech Games, is an accurate representation of how the situation would occur in the United States of America. Because I know, like, the city I live in, they have it downtown, and it works flawlessly, but I've never seen any numbers of how much it costs the city. Because I know that most recycling plants run negative money no matter what. You know, since it's actually like a public expense, that could just be in the records. You could publicly check that. You know, I could, but you know. You're a teacher, so... But, what, but from what I've heard on the basic is that no recycling plant, plant ever pays for itself. I don't know whether that's true or not. I'm sure we'll spark some interesting controversy about it in your comments. Never. We would never do such. <laughs> some recycling. My parents own a recycling center, by God. <laughs> All right. So let, let's end this turn and see what happens. I mean, uh, certainly I'm the one who actually encouraged my family to do such a thing. I put a lot of pressure on my parents when I was a kid based on what I heard. And uh, they certainly have carried on that tradition. It's helpful. Oh, you won an aerospace contract. Nice. Damn, damn right I did. Listen to that sound effect. Oh, you can't! Because <laughs> you're not the president. Of course, you have a genetic uh, modified uh, food proposal. Oh, good lord. Do we want McDonald's to control our chicken nuggets, or do we not want McDonald's to control our chicken nuggets? That's going to be the that's gonna be the kids' argument in our country right now is this. Um, I think on this one we allow it. Okay. Reduces the cost. That's going to make the capitalist happy. Cheaper food. Which I'm wondering, right now in America we're doing this. How come our food's not cheaper? <laughs> our food is definitely cheap compared no. to the well, prices of another country, sure. But it's not went down since they started this. Yeah, but considering the the inflation that has been happening in our nation. <laughs> and then when we Would let the like authoritarians, like <laughs> and then when we let the authoritarians, you know, pass a higher minimum wage, it's going to. The authoritarian. There's no socialists. They're actually authoritarians. I want you to know this. They want to They want to run everybody's lives. Hey, the environmentalists are happy. Hooray! They're happier. Yeah. Have to wait the epidemic is continuing to increase. It's having a negative impact on your productivity, which is having a negative impact on your GDP. Yes, yes. I know. What the fuck happened there? Maybe we need to pump some money into the university grants. It's, you know, you might very well have to do that. Contagious disease has nearly been solved, though. Happy about that. Yeah. So is without the teacher. Having to, yeah, without having to invest a fuck ton of money into the state health services. Here's your eye chart over here. <laughs> no, it wasn't university grants, it was the technology one, right? I mean, certainly university grants would help too, but technology grants would probably have an... Science funding would also have an effect as well on your GDP, which is very nice. Yeah, I think we definitely need to do this. And you have a lot of excess money rolling in, so long as the economy is good, and that'll actually make you even better. GDP. Alright, so the one thing I was looking at... Let me go back over here. University grants is what we need to bump up, if we can. You certainly can. That's going to increase literacy, which will have a great positive impact. Uh, state employee and middle earnings will also help as well. And parents will... Middle class. Them. We definitely need to make the middle class happy. Yeah. Do uh, we want to go all the way up, though? I... I, eh, I don't know. We got the money right now. We definitely do have the money right now. Six you months. Capital. Let's take a risk. Let's throw the dice. I have a lot of dice. You want me to throw <laughs> You didn't throw it fast enough. What's it say? <laughs> I, I, 
There's a lot of dice. Oh, I didn't tell you to throw like 30 die. You, you just said throw the dice, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> just randomly throws them across. What, what the hell? What is causing racial profiling? I could care less about that right now. <laughs> Well, that's that's not what's causing racial profiling. That is racial profiling. It's I know, but well, something has to cause it. Racial tension is causing it. Well, no, racial profiling is affecting racial tension. <laughs> You're so funny to mess with. I can't believe that people are unhappy about these gated communities. I think they're wonderful. I mean, it is reducing crime. However, I mean the conservative and wealthy parts of your country are not are not that vast. I just want to see what it did. N then again, neither are the liberal aspects of it either. But equality is a big deal, whether you believe it or not. You remember what's a big deal? You want to know how you're making so much money? You're not spending anything on the military. I know. We got to handle that too. Do I want to make some drinkers? You're going to lower the lifespan, which is going to have a negative impact on your GDP. It'll increase crime and violent crime. There's no problems with that right now. Really, I think you should just uh, make make drinking laws as harsh as they can possibly be and have a maximum alcohol tax. Look at this. Let's, let's make narcotics just totally legalize all drugs and the liberals go shit crazy about it. Of course, but, uh, you know, that doesn't... Yeah, I think you should totally be a hard ass to the drunks this time. You don't care about what the liberals think. You care about the the capitalists and the conservatives, religious people. Fuck alcohol. You see, it increases your productivity so much, and it decreases crime and violent crime. And drinkers sure. are though. Though drinkers are, I, I don't think I need to mess with it. Drinkers are still thirty five percent, and if they show up to vote, that's right. If they show up to vote. Throw the dice again. <laughs> what am I rolling for? Nothing. Do we want to? I can't raise the military. That's right. You don't. You'd, you'd have to. How much does it cost time. to make the Patriots love me? <laughs> that much. It's only like fifteen billion. Wow, that's sad. It'll take a year to be implemented, so if you want the Patriots to That's stop, something we'll have to worry about second term, I think. Ooh, home homelessness is coming down. Yeah, because you're reducing poverty and unemployment. What's it going to be, President Day? I don't know. I'm about to let the cards lie right here and go to the next turn. Because we're starting to get into the zone where we don't want to do too much. <laughs> where the president doesn't want to do too much. Yeah. Well, what do you suggest? What's your course of action? Hey, I've given you suggestions. I, I, want, I want you to uh, kill the drunks. <laughs> yeah, can... we, we don't need to touch the drunks. I, I think we need to leave them alone. It increases your productivity, man. It's a big deal. I, I don't want to mess with that 20% I mean, of liberals. You can't do it this turn anyway. But uh, so. I, I, I would totally increase the file policy the maximum. Fuck them. Productivity makes capitalists happy. Drunks are not productive. Besides, I I, I, I have a sort of callous spot oh, in my shit. Well, yeah, of course foreign relations is going to go down. You're not giving out any foreign aid. <laughs> Or as much foreign aid as you could. <laughs> We're not giving out shit. <laughs> yeah. But it's going to make the Patriots unhappy. They already hate you. My God. And they are a significant part of your of your country here in this capitalist heaven, Koana. International trade, of course, is going to suffer, which will have a negative impact on your GDP. But the Patriots are just as batshit crazy as the religious guys are. And they will kill you. Ah, oh, wait a second. Oh, gun laws? You'll have to change that next... Oh, you'll have to change that in three turns from Jesus now. Christ. You don't fuck with gun laws. <laughs> now, you're going to increase violent crime when you adjust this, if you go down that far. 
and you're going to upset parents. <laughs> so they're trying to say that Patriots are the same bar as violent crime people. If it's easier to get, you know, submachine guns and assault rifles, as, as Liberal Crime Squad taught me. <laughs> <laughs> Gun laws are arch conservative. That's when the gangsters are the happiest. But right there, it, everything breaks even almost, and it's cheaper. But yeah, that's a long way to save up for it, that. It might be cheaper, but it's not worth fifty-two political points. That's what I was saying. It would take forever. Could uh, increase prisons. That wouldn't cost you that much. You'd have to wait until next turn again, though. But uh, that that would have a good impact on everyone. See, I think that, yeah, conservatives would like that as well. Yep. Liberals would be cool with it. State of Patriots course. should like prisons. That's what I don't understand. Patriots would probably just be happy with shooting the fuckers rather than setting them to prison in the first place because they cost money. <laughs> All right, let's wait till the next turn. We'll see what happens. All right. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Thank you, Napoleon. Oh. Contagious disease. The contagious disease has ravaged our population has finally been eliminated thanks to your excellent work by doctors. You can now leave your home again. <laughs> that helps. It's always a good thing. Uh, the teacher shortage is over. Children now have to learn everything from cartoons and comics. Which is hilarious because they're pushing for those in schools now. <laughs> Political cartoons and stuff. And a teacher strike. So, Great uh, news. A project that I had in seventh grade was actually uh, compiling a large catalog of uh, political cartoons for the 2000 election. They can definitely be uh, valuable sources of getting a feel for country's attitudes as well as, you know, uh, the weaknesses. Of I, have the, I have the students draw political cartoons all the time, and it's amazing. You can tell exactly what their parents have taught them <laughs> by what they draw on the pictures. Oh, you have a subliminal advertising issue, which you should totally be okay with. Why would I be okay with this? Because the capitalists want to put ideas in the heads of people. I don't think it's a big deal. So, we'll allow it. Ha ha ha! Parents are starting to love me some more. You, you, well, that's because you fucking solved the contagious disease. There's still an asthma epidemic, though. Yeah, we can't get a hold of that one. Because that air quality... It's because your GDP is doing so well. <laughs> the air quality continues to worsen. Yeah. So all you need to do is just sink your GDP and you'll solve the <laughs> Yeah, let's just destroy the economy and we'll be good. I mean, uh, look how much money you're making. You're uh, over $30 billion in income, over debt. I know, I, I want to pay the debt off. Well, uh, military expenses? I, I kind of want to pay the debt off before I go into the military expenses. Or now would be a great time to start the space program. I thought I put this all the way up. Why you did. I... As you can see, there's still a gray-white bar over there at the right side. It still hasn't fully adjusted all the way. Where's a gray-white bar? You fucking moved it. Click the X, click cancel, or whatever, and go back into that. Really? It was. There was one. I the moved it. Show. The record will show. <laughs> record will show. Like that one? Yeah. Well, it wasn't there the anymore. Viceroy of Get Fucked understands of what he's I don't thinking. think on that one. I don't think I I don't think I did science funding. I think I did the schools, the university grants, and I think I did I don't think I touched the basic science funding. It's possible that I am wrong, in which case go ahead and max it out the rest of the way. Alright, we need to I wish technology backwater would be gone. Good god what? It's it's still pretty high. It's a slow process to work <laughs> You think so? It's at the very fucking top of it. It's even increased since the start of this game. I know. We've done so much to stop it. <laughs> Are you shitting me? You know, if you altered that creationism issue... <laughs> uh, science funding. Okay, we just put more into that. 
but a lot of that's still changing down here. Where yeah, it, the, it's a lot of it is still changing. It's just gonna take time. So it'll slowly go down. You'll have to do more to fix it though. And you're definitely gonna have to wait another turn before you play with creationism. I'm just see even if we go a little this other way, it doesn't. Yeah, just. Well, Why don't you let me play with the bars? Why do you gotta be so vindictive about that? Not vindictive. You've gotta wait till the next turn, you son of a bitch. <laughs> How long do you want this video to go on? Do you need to break this? I don't know. What are we on right now? Hmm. I don't know whether increasing that really fucking matters. It doesn't take them up very much, does it? For, no. for, for doubling the amount of money in it, it doesn't really... No. See, there are some policies that I think are good to max out, and there are other policies where it's kind of like, eh, why the fuck do I care? That's one of those. Well, for decreasing, you know, technology backwater, you could always look for other services that will help to intellectualize your populace. Like, for example, public libraries. Yeah, the literacy rate was down. Technology colleges would also have an impact, as well as adult education subsidies. I'd like to do the technology, and I want to do the public libraries. All right, then. Youth club? Oh, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> Free youth club ensures that teenagers have a place to go, which well, can help them to stay out of trouble. Marks. I know, that's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, let's do public libraries. And also make the old people happy, which is unfortunate. Yeah, why not? And it helps promote equality somehow. Indeed. Take it gives a look. It greater access to knowledge. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. <laughs> and Gorgi will we'll teach them all how to read. Gorgi? Gorgi. That's right. I said it like that. <sighs> oh, I just blew your fucking mind, didn't I? <laughs> LeVar Burton will come through the wall like the Kool-Aid man and smack you in the face. <laughs> he doesn't care about me. He won't do that. That'll have a great impact as well. Of course, and getting increased internet access will expose you to internet crime. Yeah, I know, and that's like almost impossible to stop. Our technology colleges will lower equality. Not that you care about that. Let's just balance out what we just did. It's okay. It's good to go. Alright, I'll stop the video here. Hooray!